Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Dawes. I'm here to talk to you about Corel Draw. For a start, you'll need to open up Corel Draw. It's that green icon there, and what you'll get is a quick start menu. I would recommend opening a new blank document, call it your name, and Oops. and whatever it's going to be and make sure that the width is 640 millimeters the height is 460 millimeters and the primary color mode is RGB 300 dpi is fine and hit OK what you can see here is a piece of paper that's 640 by 460 millimeters that corresponds to the size of the laser cutter. Okay, so that's all you need to know about there. Make sure it's that size, don't set it up as an A4 sheet of paper. That's the workspace. You need to know there's two different things that the laser cutter can do. It can cut, which we call vectoring, and it can etch or engrave, um, which the technical term is called rastering. Okay, we'll talk more about that in a tick, but let me go through the toolbar basics. So we can do a whole bunch of things. Um, rectangles, squares, circles, polygons, um, stars, shapes, text. And I'll just go through a few of those things. What you really need to know is if I'm cutting or vectoring, I need to make sure that my outline pen is hairline. Okay. The fill tool is a different tool, and we'll talk about that in a tick. So the outline pen needs to be hairline. Okay? So we, the first thing you do before you even get started is set it up as hairline. Now, every shape that you make should be hairline. Okay? And that will cut. So any shape that's on the workspace or on the sheet will cut. This is the pick tool. Let's move that out of there. So this will cut, this won't cut, okay? Because this is outside of the workspace. This shape, I can see, is 256 by 157 millimeters. I actually want to make it 100 by 100 millimeters. I can double click on there, and I can tab across, enter. And I all of a sudden have a box that's 100 by 100 millimeters. That's beautiful, okay? I can put that up there, I can put my plastic in the laser cutter, so long as it's bigger than 100 by 100 millimeters, press print, and I'll get a box that's 100 by 100 millimeters. Beautiful. Okay, um, let's say that I'm going to make this into a little key ring, and a key ring I'm actually probably needs to be about say um, 60 by 40 millimeters. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Z gets me zoom. Z zoom. I can go plus, 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 minus, 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 or I can zoom to all the objects, or I can zoom out to the page, or I can just click, drag, let go. Okay, it's going to be a key ring, so it needs to have a hole. Excellent. That's an 8 by 8.7 millimeter hole. I didn't bother, I don't bother, trying to make it exact. I just draw a circle, Go up here. I actually wanted a circle that's six millimeters by six millimeters. Done. Now I can go to the pick tool, move that up. If I want more accuracy, I can use the arrow buttons until I've got it about right. There you go. And I want to, good, that's fine. Click outside. I now want to draw some text. And I want to draw my, did you see how I just clicked? I didn't go click, drag, let go. Please don't do that, because that is dumb. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to go back to... Well, it's dumb. It's only dumb because I don't want you to do that. Um, it can cause problems. Um, my name is Mr. Dawes. Beautiful. And I want to make it a bit bigger than that. I want it to, to fit the whole thing. So I might just go click, select it, drag it out there. Drag it out there. Oh, I can maybe make it taller. I can make me fatter. No, I don't like that. About there. What you can see here is that this text has a fill of black. So the fill 
is what's inside the lettering. Okay? Can you see it's got no outline? It's got no outline pen. So it's not going to cut anything. But the way that the laser cutter is set up is that black won't etch or engrave or raster. The only way you can etch or engrave or raster is by making that red. Now it won't be red, the laser cutter can't cut colours, but that denotes the pen type that does the job of the etching. So make sure you choose red on this toolbar for anything that you want etched. Okay, so I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. A smart student showed me this shape tool, and I'm going to show that to you now. Um, actually, gonna, I've got to select my rectangle, and if I put this in my pocket, I'm going to have these sharp edges. So, what I can do is I can change the corners to be rounded, and I'm going to make the corners 5 millimeters by 5 millimeters, and all of a sudden, I've got nice smooth edges. I can do that to any shape. I like that a lot. Uh, the final thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to group objects. Command or Control G changes this group. So now it's a group of three objects on a layer. So if I just click on the one thing, I can move everything. Yeah. If I ungroup it, Command or Control U, it becomes three objects. So if I just click one and move that, see? The other things don't move with me. So I'm going to go Command-Z, undo that. I'm going to grab them together. Control-G, group it together. Z for zoom. And I'm going to zoom to the page. And I'm going to move that up a little bit higher. I'm going to use my arrow keys to get it a bit closer. And that's ready to print out on the laser cutter. Okay.